Hey everybody, uh, another book review today. Um, we're going to be discussing The 4-Hour Workweek, which is this book. You look at the side, bam. The 4-Hour Workweek by Timothy Ferris. Um, I actually bought this book. A lot of times I listen to audiobooks, but um, even though I did listen to this on audiobook, I bought the real book, um, which I'll explain in a second. But um, basically, the title covers a lot of what this book is about. The 4-Hour Workweek is about um, how to have a regular income but not work 40 hours, work 10% of the regular full-time but still enjoy uh, full-time benefits. And also what I thought was equally important is um, once you have 36 extra hours a week, what do you do with your life? Like. Uh, how do you find something that's fulfilling and uh, are you just going to get trapped in boredom and things like that? So um, I think this book does a really good job of being motivational and kind of cutting out all the excuses that you can use um, in order to kind of stay in your 9 to 5, just do what's normal and not break out and really do what you want and follow your dreams. It um, really lays out a couple of good schemes and gives you lots of case studies on how this is possible for whatever type of job you work in, no matter if you work in an office or uh, if you're an entrepreneur yourself. Um, steps on how to do it in different ways, uh, how to test things, and um, it gives you a lot of good confidence and a lot of actually good places like websites to go to, references to look up, and uh, a lot of references to the blog. There's a blog that um, accompanies this book called uh, 4 Hour Blog, and it has a lot of information about uh, this type of stuff as well. Um, like I was saying in the beginning, this book has, uh, at the end, something that I thought was really, really super important. Um, the What to do now that, uh, like, if you actually do get over the hump, uh, maybe you do go and travel, but, like, what do you do, like, let's say you're 25, 30 years old, and you get a four-hour-a-week job that pays for all your needs, you can go travel and stuff, like, what do you do for your 30s and your 40s and your 50s? Like, what do you do to fill up your time? And uh, it gives uh, hints and uh, tips and case studies, again, on other people who have done this and the problems they've run into and how to keep yourself from becoming basically somebody uh, that did all this work to get out of your 40-hour work week so you can, like, have free time and not fall into this trap of now that you have all this free time, oh, I just sit on the couch and do nothing. Like, basically, that's the same thing as uh, being at work, you're just doing the same thing at home, just being bored. So, um, honestly, I think this is a really good book. It's not as good as The Brief History of Mankind, which I did a book review on. You can check out. I'll put a link right here. But um, uh, this book has a lot of good information for starting your own business, uh, simplifying your life, learning how to stop wasting time. Um, and just being more efficient and more productive and more happy as a person. I think this is a, a good, um, I guess, introduction to being productive on a real scale and not just doing work because doing work keeps you busy and it makes you seem productive, but being actually productive. And then um, how to measure that, how to see what is wasting your time, how to see what is stressing you out and how to kind of cut those things out and just spend the exact amount of time you need to do to get the real tasks done and then not worry about the stuff that doesn't really matter. So, um, Four Hour Work Week I think is a good book. Actually, um, took me two weeks to listen to this on audiobook and since, like, uh, like I said, there's a lot of references and case studies, like, they'll tell you, oh, you can, um, call a phone number and leave a voicemail, then the service that you called will um, transcribe your voicemail into text and then email it to you. You can uh, go to blah 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 website in order to set that up. And it gives you a lot of references and like, hey, go to this website to check this out. Hey, go to this place to check that out. And so rather than just taking notes and notes and notes listening to the audiobook, I just bought the book because this is all the notes right here. Um, but I'm going to be looking into this. I might have an update on how this works out in my life. But I just finished it. I think it's an excellent book. Um, the author, Timothy Ferris, he's a little upfront, so some people may think he's a little rude or off put, but um, honestly, I thought it was a good read. A lot of the stuff he said was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'll probably have an update in a couple of months because I, uh, I think I'm going to follow some of the stuff in this book. Um, it gives you really good uh, tips and tricks uh, for not even just starting your own business, but treating your life 
as a business and cutting away all the things you don't really need, making decisions on how to say, well, this is causing me a lot of stress. How much good is it causing me? Oh, not that much good, but a lot of stress. Okay, cut it out. And like really just simplifying your life into basically the things you want and not the things that you really don't have to deal with, like objectively looking at things. Um, so yeah, once again, the four hour work week, hope you can see that. Boom, by Timothy Ferris. It's a pretty fast read. It's like 400 pages. Um, font's pretty big, pretty big font. But um, I'd say there's a great audiobook to listen to, but also a great book to have and take notes. I think it was like uh, 20 bucks, um, $26 for an audiobook, and it was like 15, 20 for the book. But, um, but yeah, I'd say it's a good book. You should go pick it up.